Hello everyone, my name is Paulo Alves. I'm an IT developer from Brazil who has been working with both front-end and back-end applications, both for the web and for mobile phones for like 20 years. And I had this idea of creating these videos where I will build the same application, the same project in different technologies. Here in these videos, I will be producing the code and explaining everything that I can live so there will be no editing or just a minimum editing so you can see the way I think and how I do my development right in like a daily basis or when I do my freelancers or when I work for a client a real job or stuff like that about the project this project here that I did some okay design I think it's pretty good for my <laughs> designing skills is an income and expenses control web application. In this case, it's a web application, but in the future, we'll make a mobile phone application also. So let's walk through it. Here I have an email, a password, recover password button, a login, and a register button. The idea is that we'll develop each page, the whole thing. So I'm, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna focus on the login page first, I'll create the design, then I'll create the validations, then I'll create the communication with the backend or with the authentication service that I'm gonna use. After I finish this page, the whole thing, then I move to the next page, right? So the next page, of course, if you click here on the register button, is the register page. Basically, the difference is that we have here uh, another type of validation, which is a password and repeat password that we don't have here in the login page. Um, this page will create a new user. And when the user is created and there are no problems, there are no validations like the user already exists or I don't know, anything else, we go to the home page, right? So here I have the email of the user that's logged in I have a logout button and here as you can see is the first phase of the page where I'm loading the incomes and expenses that the user has registered um, in the next page that I'm going to show. So here's also a, an add button so the user can add an expense or an income to his application, right? So on the next page you can see that no results are found, so click on the button to add some income or expense, your first one. Okay, let's imagine now that, the, that some results were found after this page, so we come here. So here I have the date of the dates of the incomes or expenses. I have the type of it, um, the value, and some description of it. So here I have a salary, 3,000 euros. I'm living in Germany right, right now, so I'm talking in euros. And I have some notes. And by this blue line here, I know that this is an income. When it's an expense, I put it as a red line. And also you can see that this uh, expense is marked because like the user has the mouse on top of it. So you can also remove uh, an income or an expense. You can remove a transaction. All right. So in case you click on one of those, you go to the edit page, which is the same page as the add page, that the page that you go to when you click on the add button, which is the last page that I have to show to you. And it's simple, right? We have a, a date, currency, a value, the type of um, the transaction, income or expense, the category, which could be like accommodation, food, transport, um, I don't know, salary or stuff like that. And a description with a text field, so you can have multiple lines here, and the save and a cancel buttons. Okay, this is a simple app, but we can see here that we have multiple things we will be using in our day-to-day -day career as developers. Here, I'm targeting specifically the front end, but we'll 
build stuff on the back end in the future also after I finish the front end. I always like to start by the front end. Um, I think it's better to know what we will need to build in the back end if we already have the front end. All right. So things that we'll do here, we'll create a complete app from scratch, both front end and back end. We'll have form validation, we'll have user authentication, login, create a user, uh, recover password, log out. We'll have uh, page navigation, as you could see here. We'll have off guards. Off guards are like, uh, so let's say the user is not logged in, but the user tried to enter this page. As the user is not logged in, so the user has to go to the login page first or to log in or to register. The user can't access this page without being logged. So that's off guards. We we'll have API communications, which is the front end calling the back end to get or add or do something with the information. We we'll have databases in this specific case here, the first trial of the app. I'll use a NoSQL database, which is pretty simple. Uh, we'll host the app in some web page, so you can go, go. So in the future, we'll be able to come to the browser and, and type like www.expensescontrol or something like this.com and enter. This is hosting, so the app will be hosted. We'll have state management also, which is really good to use in bigger applications. This is a small application, but um, the idea is still the same. We'll manage how, we'll manage the state, right? We'll, man we'll, we'll manage if the transactions are being loaded, um, if they have been loaded and they're empty, uh, if they have been loaded and they are, uh, they, ha they exist. So it will manage how the app works in a state. We'll talk about it in the future. We also work with things like continuous integration, which are I more like ideas and practices. So continuous integration, continuous delivery. We will learn a lot about architecture also, both from the front for the front end and for the back end. All right. So we will get a lot of ideas. Um, on uh, real work that you'll be doing in the future or in your current job. So let's talk about the technologies. Maybe some of you already saw them. I have multiple tabs open with the technologies that we're going, we are gonna be using for this first trial. So for the front end, I'll use Angular. Angular is a framework developed in JavaScript um, they use actually TypeScript, with which is JavaScript. And uh, it's really good for creating big apps because it has a structure, it's a framework, so it has a structure built in and you know where to develop things, right? You know where to put the H HTML, you know where to put the services and the uh, components and everything. So they have a structure and it's good to follow that that structure, right? Um, for the UI, the user interface, we will use Angular Material, which is used to build the front end, like to, to have those components already built in, so it's easy to use. You just put it in the HTML code and use them. Uh, this will save a lot of time of us uh, use with CSS and doing style, styling and stuff like that. For state management, we use NGRX. It's a bit hard in the beginning to understand how NGRX works, but after you do some trials and you, you, you test a bit and so on, uh, it becomes kind of natural, right? Um, and it's really, really good for state management. For authentication, we use Firebase authentication. So this will involve creating a an user, logging in the user, keeping the user logged in like forever, if we want to, and logging out the user. So we use Firebase authentication. Um, it's pretty simple also to use. Um, 
and we use also for the database as I said there's a NoSQL database that you're gonna use and it will be for the first for this first app Firestore um, Firebase Firestore pretty good pretty fast and pretty simple to use for hosting our application so everyone can see it we use uh, Firebase hosting also pretty simple to use it's fast um, and it already gives us HTTPS uh, from the beginning so we don't have to worry about anything and okay let's just take a quick look at the back end that I'm planning to use for this first app I'll use nest.js nest.js is a framework oh it says here it's a progressive node.js framework so it's built from using node.js it's also javascript we use typescript in this case and it's pretty good is the best framework javascript that i have worked with for the backend um, node.js framework and so we have to put the apis somewhere right that we are going to build using node.js and we'll put those apis on the cloud functions it's basically free to have it only if you have a big application that has like hundreds of thousands of calls every day you pay so as i don't want to pay anything uh, we are going to use cloud functions is also simple to use and um, for the actual development we we use visual studio code and as everyone does we are gonna save the code in github okay so this was just a quick introduction talking about the idea of these next videos that are coming up uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, give thumbs up i will put the links of everything i had here on the description on the first comment of this video and on the next video we are going to start creating the front end as i said i like to start from the front end so we'll create the app using angular and i'll explain each and every file that is built in the beginning when we create so subscribe give the thumbs up put something in the comments uh, if you like and see you on the next video